hey everyone, your emails are changing and getting a little bit harder, but not that much harder because I'm here to help you out. On February 1st, Google's going to make it a little bit more difficult for our users to get my, our emails. Now they're requiring that we authenticate our domain name so that our users know for sure that our emails are coming to them from us and they have not been tampered with in any way. Honestly, it's really good for the user. It's good for security. It's kind of good for you too, except that it means you're going to need to sit down for a minute and you're going to need to sort out how the heck you authenticate it. And there's a couple steps. There are three things that we have to add to our blog. We have to add an SBF record. We have to add a DKIM record and a DMARC record. And I'm going to show you how to do that today, but please note that it's going to vary a little bit based on who your host is and based on your email provider. I'm going to use MailerLite and Lyrical Host for this because those are the two that I work with. Um, but I've also used ConvertKit and I can tell you it's just a tiny bit different and I'll talk you through some of the differences there. Now, if your host is completely different, you are going to want to go look at a guide for your specific host um, because they're all going to have slightly different ways of dealing with this. They're not massively different, but they're a, like a, different enough that you need to kind of hunt it down. Um, however, if you're using something like uh, Squarespace or Wix, it might be a larger difference. So you should really look at their documentation. This would definitely be more for a self-hosted WordPress site. Okay, so to get started, what you need to do is go to the domains area and add a domain. Now, you basically have to do this when you start. Um, if you don't, you can't send emails essentially. So you probably already have this um, set up a little bit. You probably have it verified, but you probably have not authenticated it yet. To verify it, you typically just click a link in your email and then it's like, cool, we know it's you. But to authenticate it, it's a little bit more complicated. Now I've done all of mine already, so I figured I would just do a sample here. Um, so you typically should not have multiple domains in here. Um, it'll definitely be the same domain for you guys. But when I authenticate it, we get an idea of what's popping up. So there'll actually be two different sections. There's the DKIM up here and the SBF down here. Um, now I've already added the SBF to this one, so it's already seen it. Um, but when you guys are first doing it, you'll have two at the top, two at the bottom that you're going to have to copy over. If you're with ConvertKit, these are a little bit different. Um, I do not know what it's like with Flowdesk or Beehive or any of the other email newsletter systems, so you'd have to check with them. But what's important to check here is what the name of the record is that it's asking you to find. So up here for MailerLite, it says CNAME. When it's SBF down here, it says TXT. So you're gonna need to keep track of that, that's important. Then you're gonna to need to go into Lyrical Host. Now I am in the manage the DNS area, which you'll find in your cPanel. So your cPanel for your site, if you scroll down to domain names, manage DNS, that's where I am right now, um, where you can see that I've already added these to the site. But I just said one of those was a C name, right? And these look like they're all TXT. Well, they are, but we have to get to the last two in a minute. We wanna start with um, this domain key. So the way that you make this is first you have to select from the drop down. If you don't, it's going to like erase what you wrote. So select the drop down first, and then you're going to paste whatever it said here. So the name goes first. Oops, stop getting in my way. There we go. Paste that. And then we're going to come and we're going to copy the value and paste it over here. And that's basically it. <laughs> so then you also need to do this for um, the SPF and that'll be a TXT. So this one right here is my SPF. Now it's important to note in um, MailerLite, they already have a stack mail one that exists elsewhere. So you can see when you're in the SPF record, it will say, we already have this one. So you technically only need to add the include underscore SPF dot whatever. So this would be the MailerLite one. Um, when I did my MailerLite one, it suggested one that had this whole thing together. So I just copied all of theirs. And then when I looked at my TXT, I was like, hey, that looks basically the same. So I went and I checked in it and I was like, hey, it's missing this section. So I just pasted in there. So you can, I'm going to paste the key that we have. That's wrong. Don't do that. Paste the SBF one, but you'll see that you can edit it. So I would paste that 
but the actual thing, um, rather than creating a new one. Because if you have two of them, it's gonna get mad at you. You don't wanna have two. You wanna just have one of it. So I'm gonna undo that now. Um, and then to update it, you would just click update DNS. Now it takes 24 hours for that to fully kick in. So we wanna do this well ahead of February 1st, because there's a couple of things that take a day to kick in. So we wanna give ourselves plenty of time for it to take effect. But if I come back over here and click check DNS records, obviously I haven't even filled it out yet. Um, it's gonna tell us probably wait 24 hours, maybe that's why. It'll also tell you other errors, like if you have two SPF records, um, or yeah, if you've done something weird somewhere else, it'll basically tell you, hey, you have two of these, we don't want that. So then get rid of that thing. But once it's actually properly connected, it'll look like this, where it says verified and authenticated. So that's what it looks like when you're done, essentially. So we wanna make sure we have that. Then the next thing we wanna do is when we go back to our cPanel, if you come up to the email area, you'll see um, the domain key section and the DMARC section. Now, the next thing we want to do is DKIM. So we want to do it in the order um, SBF, DKIM, and then DMARC. That's the order we want to follow. I don't really know why. It's just what they told me. And so I'm listening to what they said. So the next thing we want to do is add the DKIM signature. And this is apparently supposed to, again, help like with the deliverability. So what it says to do in the um, lyrical area, it says to just like put something and it suggested S1. So I just went with S1. So literally you just type S1 here and then it's gonna create it. So if I did like S11 now to let me, and then you just click add and it's done. <laughs> That's all it has to happen. But it's going to take again, another 24 hours for that to kick in in your DNS. However, while you're waiting for that, you can still go and do the DMARC. And the DMARC, you just select your domain from the dropdown and click Add DMARC. You don't have to do anything else. So it's really, really simple, to be honest. It's just a lot of clicking between places. Now, if this was super overwhelming to you and you don't want to do it, or yours is a bit different and you don't want to deal with it, um, I do have a friend, Beth MacArthur, who can help you out. Um, so she is an email marketing expert. She knows all this stuff. She knows like all the different email providers. She's especially good with ConvertKit. She can help you out if you're looking for um, someone to kind of do it for you. So she has something called a one hour power hour. Um, and that's where you can work with her on a Zoom one-on-one -on -one, and she'll help you get it set up um, in that time. So I will link that in the description for you guys. Um, that way you can check that out if you wanna get some help with this. Or if you just wanna follow it along with this, that's totally fine. If you sorted it by now, then you're good to go. Um, then once you have all of these set, you're just gonna wanna wait a second, to be honest. Um, it's gonna take a minute for it to fully kick in, like I said, with uh, the DKIM and the DMARCs. Just like doing your DNS elsewhere, it has to, to wait a second to like fully kick in um, for your DNS records to have shifted. So give it a second. Now, I also wanted to highlight a free tool I found. I cannot guarantee that it is perfect or whatever, but um, this is just something I was looking at. I wanted to try and find a way to verify that I set this up properly and see if like you could see it on the front end. And this is one thing that I found. It's called dmarkly, so dmarkly.com slash tools. And then they have a free SPF checker, DKIM checker, and dmark checker. And when you put your site through it, it'll tell you if it's working or not. Um, it'll tell you if it like doesn't show up. The cool thing is with the DMARC checker, um, I just did mine today, and so it probably will take till tomorrow for it to be fully verified for this site. Um, when I put it through, it says, okay, we see it, but we can't generate a report yet, which I take to mean I literally just set that up. So it's probably that it's gonna take a minute. Now, another thing I saw people using was this one called Email Smart. I don't understand how it works, but apparently it might also be able to check for you. Um, I have not used it for that, but I just wanna highlight that people are using different things to check these out. So I just Googled something and DMarkly came up in like the top 10 and it was one of the few that looked actually relevant. So I went with it. Um, I just wanted like external validation that I had kind of done this pr correctly. Now, the great thing with Lyrical is that you can always write them and ask for help. And I'm sure that you could also write them and ask for help with this um, and also getting them to like double check that this worked for you. I've also heard there's some way that you can like email yourself to check that it worked. I don't fully understand that part of it. Um, so you'd have to look into that a bit more. I'm sure Beth would be able to tell you a bit more about it as well. But 
all I needed to know is that I've set it up good enough that people will still be able to get my emails and that they will not be stuck in spam for all eternity. So all I had to do here was really just go through my manage my DNS section, um, come up to the email and do the domain keys and DMARC wizard. And then you'll just need to double check with your email provider um, what exactly they want you to add. And then with your host as to where those records specifically go. This is for Lyrical and for MailerLite and it might vary a bit for your host. Now, I don't know more about this to be able to answer a ton of questions about it um, or to troubleshoot a ton of errors. If you're having any issues, I would contact Beth um, if you need some more help with it. This is me kind of DIYing it from a bunch of articles I found as best I could um, and it seems to have worked. So. I'm definitely not an expert on this. Um, I've just done what I can to try and understand it and to try and make my life as easy as possible by getting it ready quickly. So give yourself time, and this is also a reason to do it early, is to see if there are any issues and troubleshoot it. So I did it on my other sites about a, uh, four days ago, and it seemed to have worked, and I've sent emails since, and they seem to have gone out to people. So to my knowledge, this is the correct way to do it. But if anyone also spotted anything that I did incorrectly, please let me know, though I'm not leading anyone astray. Um, and yeah, we can all learn together. Okay, good luck everybody, and I hope your emails get sent to absolutely your entire list because we do not want to be throttled by the Google spam filter.